Welcome everyone to a Tuesday News Day, another exciting premium banner edition, right, Sinzar? Indeed, indeed. So I feel like a lot of people have been waiting for this unit, or, or there has been some hype. Why has there been hype for Dark Rain? I mean, apart from amazing sprite, bear chest, you know, like, aside from that. Uh, the unit himself, based on the JP version, uh, is nothing special. Like, he was a decent mage, not the best mage, based on the global we have. You know, Angela was going to be better than him. Mm -hmm. um, but then global did, like, some massive global exclusive buffs. So now massive? He's actually, what? He's, oh, yeah, he's actually strong now. Well, well, they so changed, what happened? They, uh, basically, they just gave him 2,000 more flat magic. That's really it. <laughs> Only, but, I okay. Mean, that, that's, that's a big deal. That's a really yeah. big deal. Yeah. Wow. So, okay. Yep. So even though he doesn't have, um, like, you know, the double hand variants and all that, because he's a dual wield unit, uh, because he was giving so much extra magic, it doesn't even matter. It just made him, like, really, really high damage now. All right. So, really wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, I also feel we've been lacking mages a bit. I mean, sure, we had Angela. And I guess right below Angela, we have the summer units. And then we also have... Oliveira maybe and Tiana, um, but like we don't really have super strong mages. So I think this is a welcome. This is a welcome change. Honestly, I'd like more mages. Yes, um, the only other mage like in this area of like damage level is like Angela, but Angela takes like a week and a half to get there. Dark right. range ready to, ready to go on turn three at full potential. Yeah, at turn three. Yeah, fuck you, Sinzar. Who the fuck is going to have this at EX3 after being hammered with premium units? Like, what the shit? So yeah, we maybe we should mention he's an SLB unit. So you're bursting yes. on turn three at the very earliest, unfortunately. That, that is a good point. Um, I would say that Dark Rain is one of those units where you kind of either want to go all the way or not so much at all because like he's he is a good mage he got buffs he's going to be very strong but even with that being said even though he is very very high damage he is still a mage meaning you can't share your element imbues but more importantly and i was talking about this um earlier with people uh for like dark visions if you want to stick him on your your team with like you know, um, Esther and Lara Croft and the, the decked out Titus and Aaron and Sephiroth and all that, you're going to have to bring Mage or, or Rain, and you're going to have to bring along, like, Savior Lightning or Louise as well. And that is a two for two party slots for one unit. And that at that point, still not really worth it. Yeah, not no, really that's a very it. good point, actually. That's a very good point, because we don't really have the 90% defense and spirit breaker yet. And besides, yeah. Lara, for instance, as a unit, I know you're all tired of hearing her name, but but she also does, like, magnificent damage alongside breaking, which is exactly. hard to replace. Hard to replace. Yeah, yeah no, that's a very good point, right? You won't be mixing Dark Rain into your run because those, those breaks are hard to come by. I mean, there's, I, I guess there's this argument that you could use a smaller break on him because maybe somebody in your party is going to have at least 85, but that's still going to be a pretty big damage loss, though. And then the question is, is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like, you know, if Gumi's listening, give us that global exclusive 90% to both breaker that also does as much damage as Laura Croft, so we can, you know... <laughs> Fit yeah, that rain doesn't on the sound body. broken at all. That sounds perfectly <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, okay, but uh, he is dark locked. Maybe we didn't say that, but that's important to say, I guess. So so you're going to bring him... Well, he has... Like, all units right now are dark locked, except, I guess, Esther, Carton, and Angela are some of the few exceptions. Um, and is there anything else to say uh, about him? Like... Uh, why is he uh, so? Why is he called Dark Rain? Why is he so emo? What's what's his deal? Answering that question would be like a major spoiler for the event coming up, which is probably not what you want to do on like the news. The news thing. People Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so let's not spoil. But are you telling me they pull another yo on us? Like, is is that what's actually going to happen in the story? Actually, don't answer should, that. That would be a spoiler. Actually, don't answer. You, you should read the uh, the story event on Thursday. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Um, well, as, as I said, I'm, I'm happy we're getting a mage, and I'm guessing, like, since he's an SLB unit, he just bursts with SLB. Is there anything worth mentioning that you know about his kit? Um, that is his kit. He does his SLB, then he guards for two turns. 
<laughs> as as most SLB units, unfortunately. Well, he actually focuses focuses for two turns, not guards for two turns. Okay, so he focuses for two turns and then shits on something. Can you focus for more turns if you didn't get EX three? Um. Well, no. Uh, his focus caps at two stacks, but he, but he he can actually multicast. That's all you really need to do is focus the turn before the burst, oh. and then like I mean, you can chain dark damage for like zero point two percent of the the SLB. If yeah. you really want to, but I mean, you don't. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> it's it's a very cool looking sprite, though. I have to say, like the sprite looks really cool. It, it, it it's like it, it's just enough edge lord, you know. It's like it, it's really good. It's it's oh really yeah, nice. his, his like sprite and L and S and his CG animation, I think, is awesome. Wow. Really well done. Yeah, I, I'm a bit sorry because you know, like this game, I play as a true shitterer, so I either get units randomly or I don't. I don't go all in. Well, at least not recently. I've stopped uh, spending money in the game until we're treated better. Um, and so, like, I if even if I shitter him on on a banner, I won't get a lot uh, from uh, from him. I guess right. Like, I'll ha- I'm gonna have to wait until turn five to even do anything. Yeah, there is. There is one thing to keep in the back of your mind is um, we got the Shard Dungeon at the start of January. We're now in the middle of March, meaning we're due for it soonish. So getting a minimum of one copy of Dark Rain could get you a head start of 70 shards towards his eventual EX3 and his card. Right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I am assuming you would need his card as well to get that sick magic, right? Uh, not, not really, because if they do, the, if they do, you do the usual global treatment where his passives are all moved down to EX two. Um, then you can use the uh, the Alina card from the Kane banner, and at that point, you're actually almost the same. Like it's only a difference of maybe like I don't know three hundred magic compared to his own card. Oh, okay. All right. So um, cool. And then we have the best unit, right? Like you said, so Dark Rain is a throwaway unit, right? And then we have oh. the good unit. <laughs> oh, God. And <laughs> no? <laughs> so so th- this is the unit where, as usual, the JP devs, they went on their keyboard, they hit Control-C, then they did Control-V. So of what? This of is what? Tulian, then Edge, uh, now, now, not actually, no, Reagan. Next is Axtar, and it just goes down the line of the elements. This really? Is, this is the... This is the light version of Tulian and Edge. So kind of a breaker slash chainer then, some, some yes. type of deal. Okay. That's exactly what he is. He's a bad breaker with bad damage with a big in peril. Like he is literally just a big in peril. That's oh, it. Man. He does he does effectively no damage and his breaks are bad. So he just brings a one forty five light in peril. If that like floats your boat, go for it. Otherwise right. skip. Oh man, what a shame! But yeah, I I can see I I can see the the copy paste uh, um, theme throughout oh, his yeah. kit. Um, mm-hmm. A good looking sprite though. Uh, Reagan has this whole uh, I don't know this whole uh, I'm wearing my coat only on my shoulders. I wonder how the fuck it stays on in the wind. But like <laughs> he's making it look good. Um, <laughs> is he premium? He's not premium, right? No, he is not. He is just a plain old bad unit. <laughs> Okay, he's just a bad unit. Okay, yeah, I guess that's the theme of JP, right? Like either you're premium or you shit. Okay, all right. There are there are a few exceptions, but I'll, I'll, that 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 does apply to a lot of the units, yes. But I'm gonna assume at least like they're gonna share the daily though. So if you get an NV on banner, you still have a fair chance of getting screwed, right? Uh, well, no, they 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 each have their own banner and. The, the banners don't share a rate up. So if yeah, you're but pulling on the the daily has to have something, right? The daily um, pull. I like never do daily pulls on global, so I don't even know how they do them. On the JP server, every single unit has its literal own daily pull. So if there's like seven units really? on seven different banners, we've got seven daily pulls on on, on wow, JP. Wow, I really like that system. I don't I think don't. that's how we do it on G- on so, GL. I think so we just that, get a single one. Oh, do I? I I have not done a daily poll on Global in a long time, so I, I couldn't even tell you. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I mean, I, I might do dailies just because I really like the sprite and hope that maybe one falls into my lap, but maybe it won't. Okay. All right, interesting, interesting. Okay, so uh, their event seems to be a Mog King, right? 
Yeah, it's just a standard Maw King. Go in there and turn on auto battle and f- farm it. <laughs> yeah, you get to you you get to obtain a recolored version of Aces STMR. It's a flag. Looks strikingly similar. I want to say. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the the spear I guess could could be worth mentioning if you do pull for Dark Rain and you only get like one copy. Right. Um, you know, he, he definitely wants to dual wield spears. And there's not very many magical spears in the game, so this is an option for you if you don't have a second of his STMR. And I guess like Sakura's um, TMR is do two-handed, right? Uh, Grimlord Sakura, yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that probably doesn't have that much magic anyway. So, okay, yeah. a shame, a shame. Um, although I guess it's good, as you said, if you only get one, you can you can farm it. Okay, nice Mog King event. And then we're getting this The Return. A special story will be available starting March 17th. So that's is that a story event? Why uh, or n- not really. This is this is more of just like a handful of cutscenes. It's not an actual you don't actually do anything except watch the cutscenes. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, this 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 whole event was JP's sixth anniversary. So oh. So it had like a really deeply involved story that was like carried across the entire month of anniversary and global, you know, because of the scheduling, you know, this happens not during our anniversary. So it's just a big elaborate event with like a long story. And yeah, um, each, well, in JP, it was, I think it was like every five days they released like a whole other batch of cutscenes, and you can keep getting more of the story. And this is, uh, this little thing is where you watch that story. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so this is the whole alternate universe type deal where also like Knights of Grand Shelt are part of as well, right? Yep, they are part of this. Oh. And so so are both the Premium Finas, the new Sokol, Nicole and Sakura. Wait, did you say are. both the Premium Finas? Like, do we not have enough fucking Finas? What? Yeah, we're getting a Premium Dark Fina and a Premium White Fina. Obviously, obviously. Are we getting a new Sakura? Yes, new soccer and, and and the new Nicole and the new Axtar. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. You can actually kind of see them on the banner here. Nicole is waving his weird feather fan thing, and Axtar mm-hmm. is looking. You know, holy shit, he's got the drip. Okay, nice. <laughs> um, no, no, no. That's good. That's good. I, can, I I think this is exciting. I mean, it's gonna be fun to at least follow the story, see see where it leads. Seem to be some really cool design characters. I uh, hope they're mm-hmm. they're all strong as well. Let's see uh-huh. what how my luck because I've had absolute shit, horrible, terrible luck for the past two months of FFB. So hey, my turn is about to come. I hope um, I, it should turn around. I certainly right? hope so. Yeah, I hope so. The same thing for me. Like the past few banners I've pulled on, I've had to go all the way to pity and did not get the unit. Uh, Esther was Esther was a recent exception. I did get one Esper on Esther on the way to pity, but uh, like Kane. And um, Ty- I'm, I'm, I'm still burnt by Tyvus. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tyvus, actually, I was very happy with. He was he was the one I shittered and many of. Like, I I might get a ZX3 soon. So that's without even trying. So that's good. But that was that was Tyvus banner. When was that? That was still over two months ago, right? That was the it, last it, was a, it, it was a while ago, and I, I'm, I'm still in pain from it. <laughs> yeah, but that was the last time I was lucky in the game. So, yeah. I hear, I feel a lot of people are experiencing your... Or, or, or sharing your experience with the Esther banner, though. Like, several people have been pulling really hard and getting, like, one Esther on the entire step up and then getting maybe a pity or something. Um, yeah, she, 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 she seems to be uh, hard to get. Okay, uh, and then I guess we have some uh, uh, ability upgrades where they're making them relevant or they're re... Well, I guess the new units have the same name, so they're now upgrading the old abilities with the same name, right? Oh, oh, yeah, like the the passive on old Drake and is getting upgraded and all. It's like whatever. Like yeah. the the, uh, the seven star VB is getting upgraded Doomsday. Like whatever. Yeah. Will it ever be relevant? Like ever? Like is it? Is it? I mean, it's it's twice as strong, or even more. No, it's more than twice as strong. But I mean, I use it. I guess if we're getting technical about it, if you're using Dark Rain and need AOE, that's his only AOE. So okay. Oh, he's not AOE. No, his SOB is, or all his LBs are single target. Oh, that's a shame. I really enjoyed that part of the latest SLB units where it's very nice to have AOE LBs, it turns out. 
At least I think I think it's single target. Now, now I'm doubting myself. I don't even know. It actually might be AOE. Well, we can read about it. I think it does explain something. No, it says dark magic damage to one enemy. Very clearly, unfortunately. Okay, that's what I thought, I thought. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shame. Well, Reagan does seem to do damage to all enemies, though, uh, and breaks all enemies. But again, his damage but, is probably a tenth. But, yeah, like, but does he really deal damage? To yeah, all does enemies? he really deal damage? Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, interesting, interesting week. I guess the start of this cool event that was the JP anniversary. It's gonna be fun following and uh, seeing where this goes. I, again, I know that like Dark Rain and Knights of Grandshield are kind of units that have been popping up in discussions to the left and to the right. So I'm assuming they made some type of lasting impression on JP at least. Well, it's okay. Here's the thing. So if you're comparing Dark Rain to like all the other units in the game and JP before you know, not counting the global buffs, right? He's 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 not really impressive. He really isn't. He's like mid tier at best. The thing is, what JP does is they'll they'll put out like a shitty unit or an okay-ish unit, but not great, and then they'll put out like three or four custom tailored bosses or events that are just handcrafted to make this unit good. So they put out a few bosses that are like only weak to dark magic that you had to burst in like three, three or four turns, and it would do dark damage to the party. And, you know, it, it did this and this and this, that Dark Rain checked off every single box and no one else did because it was so customized for Dark Rain. So JP players that had Dark Rain were like, I smashed this event. It was so good because Dark Rain is so powerful. Right, and right. It, it, it gives you this, like, false sense of, like, the unit is valuable when it's... The unit is not that good. It's just that... When the developers have the ability to make an event that really props up the unit, it makes them seem better than they are. Right. So, but I mean, don't we have similar problem with Cal in GL? It, yes. I'm, yes. Um, Dell says in the chat, it's exactly the same thing. Like, um, what, what's the girl's name? Tiana. Tiana is a very, very mediocre unit um, compared to all the other units of the game. But of right. course, on her custom Clash of Wills, Tiana was like, Oh, she checks off every single box. Tiana is amazing. As soon as her clashing moves ended, Tiana who? Yeah, exactly. And that's such a shame because I really like the design and I wanted to use Tiana more. But, you know, like now, now I'm at a point where I have to make excuses to actually use her, right? Because, like, mm -hmm. you just can't fit her into teams anymore. And that's, I mean, I think that's just plain stupid because... I, I understand the fact that they want you to keep pulling for the latest unit and they're kind of conditioning us that you have to pull the latest unit, but it feels really fucking bad if I can't even use the old units anymore, right? Like, it's it's one event or nothing. And mm -hmm. I feel like at least Maeve is in a better spot where, well, you like, you're likely to need tanks again, but otherwise, some of these units, they're like one use and then never again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. It's and it's you know it's JP does the same thing. It's not just Clash of Wills. JP does it too. And Dark Rain was definitely in that scenario. Like for example, the the Vision World that's going to be coming up soon. You know there there's a specific fight in there that is like, do you have Dark Rain? Yes, easy cap. Do you not? Struggle bus. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, at least like I guess who else do we have that does well? Oliveira is the only one I can think of that does uh, dark Oliver, magic technically bar but she's really old and bad at this point um angela if you imbue her oh, sure, other than angela. that not really anyone honestly i guess yeah, Reeze, I, 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 if you really want to stretch it who Reeze, finner knight Reeze, the oh, dragon yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or letting the mana yeah but i'm open. already suspecting that like olivera's damage is going to be too low anyway because uh like, i don't think it stacks up even if it's maybe our strongest dark mage uh it's still not that amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Interesting. That's going to be interesting to see. Well, again, for the aesthetic, I do hope I pull one. I'm going to do dailies. Uh, uh, I, I used to rock hair like Dark Rain back when I was young and beautiful. <laughs> um, nice. I, it's actually a fun fact. Okay, I shouldn't be sharing this, but I'm going to share this. Like... Okay, I'm not going to share this. Actually, you know what? This is a cliffhanger. I'm not going to share this. I'm never going to share this. I'm sorry for bringing it up. 
<laughs> okay. All right, everyone. <laughs> this was a good week. Thanks. Have a great day. See you later.